What was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say uh, that as much as I'll make fun of Chibli in a, in a lighthearted way, I never have to insult what Chibli plays on his stream. He's one of the only people that can resist the siren song of Tarkov. Everybody else is just like, I, I can't believe. And again, I'm sorry to, that I, I keep going back to Apollo. I can't believe he never even tried Dark and Darker, a game that is so similar to Tarkov, but like more Pog, and then instead is now playing Tarkov. He looked at a screenshot of Dark and Darker and said, this looks too much like chivalry. I don't think I would like it. And then he's playing Tarkov. Aren't you running a business? Okay, this is a good shot. Nice shot. Beautiful. Bunker. Sorry, I didn't know that was you. I didn't VIP Daniel, I didn't know that was you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so rude. It was not me. It was my food. It just popped up to say hello and now it's gone back down below. I would love if this was like a, a one and a half Andy. That's a little much. That's fine. I, I thought it would make it over, but it did not. At least it went under the tree. Limit, limited wind. No backspin because there's a hill. Let me get a two-piece no-backspin sauce. Stop curving. Good shot. I forgot how to putt. It's a tough hole, man. It's a tough hole. I think everybody got par. I'm not making it to rush hour three. Oh, no. Okay, almost everybody got par. VIP Daniel got a bogey and unceasing 420 smoker got, got a birdie. Unceasing 420 smoker. Okay, this is this is actually my hole. Ha 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 ha. I haven't heard a joke that funny since last year. I I have the the spreadsheet for this one. How's the wind? It's fine. You always club up. That's the trick. And then you want to hit it around a 3.7 would hit the spot. Nice shot. That looks great. Now simmer, simmer on the green, simmer on the green. Very good approach. Anytime you're on the green nice. on, in one on this one, you're in a good spot. This is a tough one. We want to be about two and a half here, I think. Beautiful hole. Well played. Very well played. We will be in rush hour three. Whereas Joe's been lining this one up for like eight minutes. It's, it's a bit of a nightmare shot, I'll admit. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Joe Mama, so true. I'll be gobbling with your mama tonight. I think there should be a gulag. Like, if you get eliminated in this, 
you should get a closest to the pin versus the other person who got eliminated. And then one of you gets dropped back uh, onto the next hole. I want every single game of Switchboards Golf to take uh, 95 minutes to complete. You should be able to buy back your duos partner when they die. You should be able to have a self-revive kit that uh, gives you a guaranteed eagle. Is this the guy that hates Tarkov? Yo, who narked? Who narked? This is a tough one, man. I think we want this. Yeah, that's that's good. Crazy camera. Everybody told me to move it. They said, why is your camera on the left? I mean, on the right. So then I was like, oh, I must usually have it on the left. So I brought it back. Now everybody's like, no, you were right the first time. All right, well, like, you guys, you got to police yourselves a little bit. I told you, we're in the, 2023 is the attitude era. If someone says something stupid, don't ignore them. Tell them to shut up, okay? That was a pretty horrible putt. That could have been worse though. I'll take it, I'll take it. What, did everybody get par on that one? Hello Apollo, by the way. Apollo, I'm begging you. Why not play some Switch Sports Golf? Why not, what, what's the harm? Lamau, dude, you're playing Tarkov. You know, like this is not. I feel bad even saying it. It's so obvious. You don't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> I like it though. I know it sucks. It's January third. We could be the. We got change. We got the, This is the time to change our behaviors and our attitudes. And play Switch Sports Golf. Oh, this is beautiful. Don't go too far, though. You you ball. You ball. Ooh. I can live with this. Four. You know what? I respect Apollo's opinion. Yeah, like me too, but like, shut up. Who cares? More than anything else, I would... Uh, I, don't, I told you, I don't want him to play stuff that he likes. I want him to play stuff that I like watching him play. And if he likes it, that's a nice bonus. Full power backspin. That's not close enough. I blew it. I blew sparks. I blew it. Okay, this is important. We want one piece with backspin because it's slightly downhill. It's a hard shot. Sorry, 420, ceaseless 420 smoker, also parred. Oh, hello, Kate, by the way. Hello. Are you enjoying the first, first non-baby day since Wednesday, December the 22nd? I mean, Thursday, December the 22nd? I sure am. <laughs> NL, what's your favorite type of kimbap? Great question. Um, for me, it's not even close. Kimchi, kimchi kimbap. For me, please. And you know what? 
I would say even Shila Hamnida Kimchi Kimbap Duge Juseo. I would take two of them, please. Now, other kimbap, listen, you can't go wrong with a base ham style kimbap. We did make the finals, by the way, with five people who are all tied. We did make the finals. Hold on. Start a prediction. Will we win the finals? Final what I will say, I'm going to hit you with most overrated kimchi or a, a kimbap, in my opinion. The most overrated kimbap, in my opinion, and it's not going to make me a lot of friends. But telling it like it is often leads to that situation, leads to some resentment now and then. What? I'm dead! <laughs> That's a horrendous place for the ball to be. Hit the tree, hit the tree, hit the tree. I wanted it a little less power. Dang, that's fine, that's fine. Anyway, long story short, I'm not that into a sogogi kimbap, okay? Like a like a like just a, a beef kimbap. I know a lot of people really like it. That It's not quite my tempo. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to be a hater. No backspin. Backspin? No backspin. We got to chip it in. Backspin would have hit the spot, dude. Oh, we got backspin from the from the the elevation anyway. Let the wind be my backspin. Oh! <laughs> feel the back on your spin. No one else can feel it for you. I didn't see a birdie in there. There might be one, but I think we might have a chance of still being in a, like a four, a four-way tie for, uh, for closest to the pin. Holy cow, four-way tie closest to the pin. This is crazy. I used to dream about days like this. Pay out? We didn't we didn't win yet. This is the the hardest part of all. Saw a tie like this once centuries ago. Six miles an hour. I think we want this with no backspin. I think you just send it full power. Let the wind and the roll carry you. Should have backspinned. Nature's backspin? I can't be further than them. They're not even on the green. Not being on the green should be disqualified. Hold on. It, it might be due to the camera. It might just be a camera trick. Due to the elevation, I think that we might be... It, it could be us. No! <laughs> this is a great final, though. Like, look at how close the other three were. Dude, it's, it just sucks because backspin would have taken us in. Well, anyway, we did not win the finals. But maybe the best, most competitive game played so far. Ooh, 828. Why do you sound so robotic today? It's January 3rd. I don't think you've uh, prepaid for enough packets from your ISP. 
they're probably sending you derelict packets. Like how when you don't pay your electrical bill, they start sending you lesser electrons from the power company. I'm letting you know because here's the thing. You might be like, because of the holidays, cause like a time dilation. You might have forgotten to pay your ISP bill. So they're sending you derelict packets. That's my thinking because I sound the same as ever. I'm on auto pay. Okay, quit bragging. You, you got your life together. 2023 resolutions start using auto pay for all my bills. Wouldn't you check your mail the most on holidays? Yeah, it's, it's, hey, it's Christmas Day. Let me go open my mailbox. Oh, wait. The postal workers have a union. They don't deliver letters today. They're busy spending time with the ones they love and their family. Great day. Wait, possibly the worst day on the calendar to check your mailbox. It's... Don't talk about me about opening your mailbox. You think I, I've been doing it for a decade and a half at this point. This is a scary shot. No, I'm very pro-union, especially the post the postal workers because I don't want to receive mail. The mail I receive is either advertisements or the government being like, hey, pay me more tax. The less mail I receive, the better. So I love whenever it like it, the weather's really bad and they're like, we're not delivering letters today. I'm like, let's go. Little heavy, little heavy on this, little light. Just a very tough hole, honestly. We do want back. No, we don't want backspin on this one. We should be fine. I think you want to be like a, like a two point two, with no backspin. It's not bad. Well, well, well. I'll take that. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Do you tip your mailman? Um, no. Uh, I think if you have, like, uh, just your own mailbox, then, like, at Christmas, you could put, like, some money in your mailbox to give to the mailman. But we have like a shared mailbox situation. So I'm not going to open up like one of the little mail squares and then put money in there. It just seems like, I don't know. It's a little strange to tip through a cluster box. You, you must work for the Postal Service. You, you knew the, the real name for the, what I was talking about. Just give it to them? Sure, let me just go um, to another part of the city where my mailbox is and uh, wait for them to show up and then give them a $20 bill. Good idea. The Nobel Prize in uh, idiocy. I told you we're doing the Attitude Era 2023. If you suggest something stupid, we're gonna call it stupid. You don't live my life, I live my life. You're like, why don't you just do it like this? Oh. I thought of that one in like uh, 2013 when I started doing it this way. I think this is a great shot. A century ago. Nice shot. It's one of the greatest shots in golf history. Ooh, <laughs> a tap in eagle, a tap in eagle.
Anyway. I do tip though. But hey, not a not a joke. I've been going to this bakery for a while. I always tip the 15%, which is the minimum that the machine tells me I should. But until like three years ago, no one was tipping at bakery. So I'm not I'm not taking too much heat for this, okay? Regardless, people act it's the most it's the craziest putt I've ever seen in my life, VIP Daniel. Was that for Eagle? Daniel, holy cow. God damn. <laughs> anyway. I'd been going to the bakery long enough. They recognized me uh, yesterday. Kate, I didn't tell you this. They recognized me at the bakery yesterday. I came in with my daughter in the stroller. She was napping at the time. They said, oh, she's so cute. Would you like a ginger cookie? And I said, yes. And they said, oh, when we made it, we broke it. So we just, we were going to give it out to someone. Free ginger cookie. And I said, what I look like, a charity case? I took it, I threw it on the ground. You must think I'm a joke. I'm not going to be part of your system. My dad's not a phone. Duh. Okay, this is, this is a four power backspin right here. Felt like that was a little heavy, but I'll take it. It's workable. We could say we could say pog for that. Nice I'm an adult. I'm not gonna be part of your system. <laughs> I love it. Too much, too much. Way left, way left. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Sorry, I was wrong. Never mind, sorry, sorry, my mistake. Sorry, sorry, never mind. Club up, never mind, sorry, my mistake. Whew. What's the weirdest profession you would consider tipping? I don't know. I guess like tipping your surgeon would be pretty weird. Cause like, how do I, oh, oh, that was so close. Your short game is crazy today. Like, how do you feel like we did on your triple bypass today? Mm, would you say 15%? Mm, okay. 20%? Good. 25%. A huge smile. 30%. Amazing! You don't see that? Sometimes whenever you pay with card, they give you like the tip option and there's words under the tip. You're like, I know what the tips mean. Oh, do you know what it, okay, listen, I'm, I'm going for it. It's a little uphill, this will be fine. Nice shot. It's fine. Nobody else has the stones anyway. Here's what it should say, 15%. Society obliged, 20%. You consider yourself generous, 25%, throwing money away, 30%, what are you even doing? This is a very tough shot. I'm going to say this is a 3.7 with backspin. Nice. That's too much. But you know what? It's, it should be in the ballpark. Ooh, or maybe it's... Ooh. Well, would have been nice to go under, but... Sorry, this is for Eagle. 
We need backspin because it's on a hill. My, my backspin? Insane chip in. Daniel, what the hell are you smoking today? Holy cow. How many pots have you smoking? This is the most cracked lobby I've ever seen in my life. This guy sucks. What the? I got a birdie. <laughs> I got a birdie. It's pretty good. I think I'm doing really well. Holy cow. This is insanity, man. People got to Joe got eliminated with a 38. Well, we did make the finals. Will we win the finals? Don't give me this special C garbage. This is just special normal. Okay. How's the thumb? It's getting there. I'm eating. <laughs> hmm. This is a very... Listen, I'm down a stroke. I think you gotta go for it. We gotta land it on this one right here. I think we gotta be like a 3.8. That's four. I'm in the water. Come on. Come on, you ball. Go down. Down. Yep. No! No! I can spoon this. This is for all the marbles. For par. The, the wind will be our backspin. Kind of wish I had backspin be our backspin. Crazy putt to finish. You got, honestly. It's not the way I drew it up. It's a nice way to finish it, though. Who the heck is, oh, you're VIP, Daniel. I was like, who the heck is Key Monk? Okay, Daniel beat me by one. I don't know what Key Monk is doing. They're tossed. They've, they've given up. Nice round, bud. Thank you. Appreciate that. I would say, I know you're not a big golf guy. You prefer Tarkov. So I would say that this is like, we used a labs key card and we went into labs and we found like a lot of good loot, but then we got ganked by Pestily on the way out. Even though it's bullshit, because I thought it was bugged, because I thought I was in the X-Fill for 10 seconds, but for some reason it stopped counting it for whatever reason. Okay. Um, but I know that would normally be considered like a huge negative, but the thing is I had great stuff in my Gamma. 
So all in all, I would say I, I was pretty pleased with it. And I had a good time. That was an extremely well-played round of golf. 46, 47, 42. Yeah, maybe if she's five foot one. Congratulations to VIP Daniel. We did not win the lobby. It's second place, though. I mean, Daniel earned that one to, to the extreme. Ooh! <laughs> the, the crazy eagle putt, the crazy eagle chip. Almost got the eagle putt on the on the other par five too. We just barely missed it. The crazy hamburger. When are we getting more Shambara? Probably never. Maybe Switch Sports 2. You know what's crazy? You don't know anything about the lingo your daughter will be using in 15 years. That's true, yeah. It's, it, I mean, it's not that... I don't know. It's not really blowing my mind. I don't know what the kids are saying these days, to be honest. But I don't really care about what the kids say. I also don't care about uh, how old people talk. I think the ideal is just, um, really, I only care about like what 34 year olds talk like. I think 34 is kind of like the perfect age to care about. Oh, I want backspin. 3.8 backspin. That's 3.9. That's not my tempo. 3.9 is not my tempo. I said 3.8. Come on, ref. That's true. We don't care about the young folks. And we don't care about the old folks talking about the old style too. All we care about is talking, talking, ju just a... I deserve it. I deserve it. The whistling was so good. Stop. My dad whistles then. Ah! Your dad is a pitchfork reader and your mother smells of elderberries. Okay, bad start. Bad start. Epic reference. Epic for the win. But honestly, I don't want to be like a 34-year-old that talks like a 17-year-old. This shit is like when you see like a 70-year-old man and he's just draped in Gucci, but not like subtle Gucci. Like you have to look and be like, oh, I see the logo. But it's, it's the Gucci that's like, it's tan and it just says G, 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 G. And then it's got like the red, white, and green stripes like everywhere. And there's the Gucci hat and the Gucci pants and the Gucci shoes. And you're like, every time I see that, I'm like, you could just, you could just age with dignity. <laughs> no the disrespect. Sorry, but, but it's how I feel. You can wear like nice clothes. Horrible shot. This is not a good start. I do like the Jerry Seinfeld pictures where he's uh, dressed in like Rick Owens streetwear. I, th that is, uh, those pictures go hard.
Come on, like a 3.8. I mean, a 2.8. Oh, it's in the hole! <laughs> it bounced off the off the pin, but it, it bounced 50 feet. Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> My ass is eliminated. Textbook. Textbook. Not gonna be a rush hour three. That's fine. Now all the stream snipers get to cannibalize themselves. I get to play like some some dads and some uncles. I don't want to be in that lobby anyway. Which is better, meet the parents or meet the Fockers? Great question. Do you have eyes? Um, cause for I users, I would say meet the parents is like a, a great comedy and meet the Fockers is pure ass garbage, waste of your time. So for me personally, I'd probably say meet the parents is better cause I've seen both of the movies and, uh, have taste. Oh, that's so, that's so brutal, man. I don't hate Dustin Hoffman. I like Dustin Hoffman. Meet the Fockers is horrible, though. And don't even get me started on Little Fockers, because I haven't even seen it. 